So let's work for a minute on differentiation. For people to be healthy, they need to have their own identity. They need to be responsible for themselves, but still connected to others. This is called interdependence. When working with family members of people with mental illness, there are two patterns that pop up frequently, but are not very helpful. Enmeshment and detachment. Enmeshment is when you are fused with another person. Enmeshment sounds like, I need you to be okay for me to be okay. I need you to see things my way for us to be okay. Underneath enmeshment is a strong empathic connection, but a lack of knowing what to do with those emotions. So people subconsciously send the message, your emotions impact me so strongly that the only way I know to avoid my emotions is to try to fix yours. It's difficult to avoid enmeshment when a child or spouse is having a serious difficulty, injury or illness. And this is in part because of the intensity of emotions surrounding that relationship. Enmeshment is high empathy, but low boundaries. Sometimes enmeshment looks like, I need you to change for me to love you. But often it looks like, I need to fix you for me to be okay. Enmeshment often creates dependence on each other, lack of individuality, feelings of being trapped, and confused responsibility. So each person feels responsible for the other, but unable to help himself. Because each person is basing their emotions on the other, they feel trapped, helpless, and out of control. Obviously, this creates an unhealthy relationship and conditions that make it nearly impossible to heal. To be healthy, your identity and worth should not depend on fixing others. You might be enmeshed if you feel like you need to rescue someone from their emotions, you need someone else to rescue you from your emotions, you can't tell the difference between your emotions and their emotions. For example, you're only happy when they're happy and you are only sad if they're sad. You and the other person have little to no personal time and space. There's a lack of privacy. There's exclusivity in the relationship. Parents are confiding secrets to the child, or the parent is relying on the child for their emotional support. You or their self-esteem depends on what they think about you or what you think about them. You feel like you're walking on eggshells. The opposite of enmeshment is detachment. Personal and relational boundaries are overly rigid, and family members come and go without any apparent knowledge of what each other is going through. While this may feel safer, it can be just as problematic as enmeshment. The crazy thing about detachment is that usually underneath it is not a lack of concern for others, but an overwhelming concern, and that is uncomfortable, stressful, exhausting, and overwhelming. It can hurt to care. So you cut off the person to protect yourself. Detachment is high boundaries and low empathy. Now, there are times when a situation requires separation. For example, if safety is a concern or a lack of resources on your part. But cutting someone off because it hurts to care usually isn't motivation for them to change. And it's often contrary to your own values. Some signs of detachment include you're not talking to each other. You frequently avoid each other. You avoid talking about anything real. The conversation always stays superficial. You may feel angry or blame them, or you bring to mind their faults. You dread calling them or asking, how's it going? A healthier approach is interdependence. Interdependence means that each person is responsible for their own emotions and actions, but there's still a supportive connection. So people reach out and help when they're able and when it's beneficial. Interdependence says, I can care. I can handle having feelings and my empathy for you. It's okay to feel. Interdependence is high empathy, high boundaries. With connection and boundaries comes a willingness to feel and a vulnerability and also a separateness. People can make their own decisions while acknowledging the impact on others. Solving enmeshment and detachment doesn't mean not caring. It means caring in an empathic way, but still giving the other responsibility for their own emotions and decisions. Your roles are clear. You're not the fixer, the savior, the problem solver. You are a helper, and they are responsible for their life. You care, you feel for them, but you still make intentional choices instead of being emotionally reactive. 
Adult roles are maintained, so the wife and husband turn to each other instead of children for support. You're connected, involved in each other's lives, but you're not dependent on them to feel okay, and vice versa. You act on your values, not their approval or emotions. So it's not like you have connection at the cost of independence or vice versa, but you have high love and high boundaries, a crisp, clear understanding of who is responsible for their own life. If you see signs of enmeshment or detachment in your relationship with your person, see what you can do to increase empathy and boundaries to move toward a healthier relationship. It will help you feel more peace and help them overcome patterns that interfere with their growth.